Hey everyone, welcome along to my channel, Busy Bee Budgets, where we talk about all things to do with budgeting and um, moving towards financial independence. So this is the end of week two for me. So to, in this video, I'm gonna clean out my envelopes for week two and then um, stuff for week three. So as we head into the third week of February. Um, so if that's something that sounds like you wanna watch, then please stick around, grab yourself a cup of tea and let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean up my um, envelopes because I've got quite a lot of cash and change in there and I finally want to use my change jar which I um, bought off Amazon and then um, I'm going to be also using this super cute little milk bottle which actually like cream came in I bought it at the supermarket um, but it was really cute and I thought I would take the label off and use it for my pound coins so the first thing I've got is some change here which actually came out of my purse before I started this journey so at the beginning of February when I started my envelopes um, so haven't got home at the moment but I thought it'd be a good place to start so I'm going to pop all my pound coins Coins in the milk bottle. Three, four, five, six, and then I'm going to put all the change in the change jar, and then I'm going to leave these um, till the end of the year, and then count up and see what we've got. Um, but yeah, that should be cool. So first thing to do is to go through my envelopes. I'm just going to my binder out of the way, um, and this is my everyday binder. Um, so. Um, First one is food, which is taking quite a battering this week. It's um, been uh, half term, so my husband's daughter came to visit um, and we've got takeaway and bits and pieces. So um, it's kind of a lot depleted. And um, I was doing really well towards the end of the week and then it's kind of just all snuck up on me. So um, what I'm gonna do is change, I've got um, five pounds there in coins. So I'm gonna exchange that for a five pound note just to tidy up the envelope. Um, and then the rest of the change I'm going to pop into my change jar. So the pound coins I'm going to pop in my milk bottle. And then um, the uh, rest of it will go in the change jar. So that already feels like that's getting going already. Uh, and so I'm going to pop that back in the food envelope. But I've only got 15 left and I uh, had like about 140 in there at the beginning of the week. So that's really kind of been diminished. So 15 left in um, in food. Fuel. Um, I've still got 30 in here. I haven't bought any fuel yet. I've barely driven this week. Um, but I will be going on a few trips next week. So I'll definitely need to fill that one up. Um, Self-care. Again, I haven't spent anyone out of this so far. So it's still got 150. So 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, and then 10, so that's 150. Um, so I haven't had to um, manage to have my massage, so that's still going in there. Um, but I will stuff that later, I think. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Uh, clothes has still got 30, I think. I've not spent anything out of that. 20, 30. Um, and clothes is going to be one of those um, categories that I change going forward. So when I do my March budget, I'm not actually going to. I might just put aside 20 pounds or maybe none at all. I'm thinking about maybe doing a no spend challenge around clothes or saying that if I want to buy something, I need to um, do it by selling other stuff. So I've got a load of stuff I wanted to sell on like Vinted or eBay. So I think I might set a challenge this year to only spend on clothes what I make by selling other stuff, if that means. So it essentially becomes cost neutral. So I'm gonna, keep stuffing it this month, but I think in March that will change in my budget and um, because a part of this journey for me is about being more sustainable um, and being more mindful and like I think that's probably one of the areas I want to kind of do that most in. So uh, that's clothes. Um, Socialising again took a bit of a battering. I think I've got 20 left in there. Um, two P, so I'll pop that 2p in the change jar. Um, I went out to brunch with my girlfriends on Sunday for Valentine's, which was lovely, but a bit more expensive than we thought it was going to be. So I think it ended up costing me £50 in total. Um, so I think I had 60 in here last week. And I've also been spending out of socialising for every other bits. So I went to B&M and ordered some stuff off Amazon as well, because at the moment I haven't got a spends category, which is a mistake. So um, I've been spending out of socialising. But next month I'm going to create one just for spending for like books and uh stuff for budgeting because i keep on buying things that i need or think i need um for other bits and pieces so um socializing's got 20 left in it i'll stuff that again today miscellaneous i've completely spent as well i think that actually was the bnm purchases last week um again i've kind of not got the right categories yet i think so that one's empty that needs stuffing um gifts i've not spent out of here so there's 30 
Um, but this is one I'm going to have to stuff really heavily because I've got loads of big birthdays coming up over the next few weeks. Um, and then giving, I've spent everything out of giving. So I gave to our local food bank and also um, uh, an autistic farm that I saw on TV. Um, I donated to them and I think they're going to be two of my regular charities that I give to out of that. So um, all £20 of that has gone. So now the envelopes are kind of a bit tidier. What I'm going to do is stuff, I've got £190 to stuff this week. So let me just bring my um, bring my journal in. Um, so I did a burlet journal in the end um, for the budget um, because I'm still trying to find out what I want to do um, and how I want to stuff it and things. So um, I thought that'd be a good way of doing it. So I've broken up the weeks and so we're stuffing week three today. Um, so this is the money that I'm stuffing. So 190 pounds. I'll just count it to make sure I've got the right amount. So 20, 40, 60, 81, so that's 100. And then I should have 19, 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 190. So that's what I'm stuffing today. Pop that back over there. Um, so first category is food, which is going to get 70. So 20, 40, 60, 70. Um, and I think this week I'm going to try, um, I do usually shop in Sainsbury's because it's closest to me. But I think I'm going to start using Aldi, um, sorry Lidl's because there's one not too far from me. Um, and every time I've popped in they've had some really good stuff. So I think I'm going to do that which is hopefully going to make my budget go a bit further. And then also um, I found I watched a great video, I'll try and link it below if I find the um, one again. I think it's Mum in the North um, and she was talking about these two good to go bags that she gets off the app which is supermarkets trying to get rid of their waste, which I really want to try. And um, again, from like the kind of minimal, minimalist consumerism kind of angle. So I'm going to keep my eyes out for those at the moment. So anyway, there should be 85 now in here. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, um, which should be absolutely fine. Um, so that's that. Uh, so food is there. Uh, fuel, I'm going to stuff with a 10. So I've got 30 in here, so 10. Uh, 20 30 and then another 10 makes uh, 40 um, and I am going to put fuel in my car this week and um, because I'm going to meet a friend in Oxford uh, so that definitely will get used this week um, and then self-care was going to get another 50 which I'll still do um, so it's 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 50 so if I stuff it with another 50 20 40 and then 10 makes 50 so there should be 200 in here now 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 60 80 yeah 200 in there now and um, but obviously if i don't get a massage this week then um it just means that next month i'll have to stuff less which will be good and i'm not getting my skin treatment till next month so just so i guess to a bit of a sinking fund as well as like a variable cost at the moment so that's good and uh, next one close is getting 10 um, but as i said i'll probably like uh pause that there after that uh so that should now have 40 so 20 30 40. um socializing is getting 20. i've got 20 in there already and then another 20. so i am meeting my friend for lunch this week so 10 20 30 40. But I think that's all I've got in socialising this week. Um, so that should be fine. Um, and if not, I can just take it out of one of the other envelopes if I need to. Uh, miscellaneous is going to get 10. Um, I'm not planning any other B&M trips or anything else. Um, and kind of any other books and stuff now, I think I'll just try and wait or anything else for the channel. If that's my budget binders. I think I'm going to wait until after next payday um, and just kind of make sure that I allocate some spending money for it and do it properly next month. Um, so that's miscellaneous. Uh, gifts is going to get another 10. So that should have 40 now. So 20, 30, 40. And then giving, I'm going to put another 10 in after having spent it all last week. So that is all my 190 cash stuffed this week. So all into my variable, nothing into my sinking funds. Um, but I am going to do a second cash stuff later in the week, which is my um, side hustle income, which is actually quite big this month, it's about £600. So I'm going to stuff that later. And I think that would primarily go into my sinking funds to kind of build some of those up because March will be my last big paycheck before my 
um, hours of work change, I'll go down on less money. So um, it makes sense to kind of get ahead on some of the sinking funds while I've still got like the spare cash. Anyway, so that was my week three. I think what I've learned this week is some things like the food can just all of a sudden like you're doing fine and then all of a sudden you've kind of not got enough money. Um, and as we get towards the end of the month, um, obviously it seems to be like less and less so some of these have got loads in well or I haven't even touched and um, self-care more through circumstance than anything else I would have spent that normally but like clothes for instance so I think it's still good like it's only week three for me of doing this so it's still good just to find out like what you're using regularly and what not and definitely the food thing is I hate to think how much we spent on food or at the supermarket before I started doing this like definitely become a lot more like mindful about it um, so that's really good um, and also I'm starting to get used to like the balance of spending on my card versus spending in cash so that next um, month I guess I'll just keep an eye on like what I need to keep in my bank account as a bit of a buffer um, so I'll kind of probably think about that as well as we kind of head towards doing the March budget so I've got as week three stuff I've got our four weeks four stuff and then just a food stuff for week five before I get paid again on the eighth and as I said, I've got a side hustle um, cash stuff coming up as well. Um, so yeah, it feels good. And I definitely have saved more money this month than I ever would usually. So yeah, it's already um, a success. So thanks for listening. Um, appreciate it was a bit of a waffle as always. Um, but we started the pounds now with the saving and the change. So it all kind of feels like it's in motion now. So um, it's all good. All right. Well, thanks for listening. And I hope you have a lovely day and that you stay safe wherever you are. Take care. Bye.